Hi Kindergarten, in honor of Earth Day yesterday, we are going to read one more amazing book all about our planet Earth. So this is called If I Were a Park Ranger. Let's begin. Front cover, back cover, spine, touch your back, touch your spine, open your mind, hands on your lap, it's story time. If I Were a Park Ranger, this book is written by Katherine Steer. The author writes the words, the author writes the words. Hi ho, a cherry oh, the author writes the words. And this book is illustrated by Patrick Corgan. The illustrator draws the picture, the illustrator draws the picture. Hi ho, a cherry oh, the illustrator draws the picture. If I were a park ranger. Imagine serving as a park ranger for our U.S. National Parks. If I were a National Park Ranger after going to college studying wildlife biology, I'd work for the National Park Service. I'd wear a special uniform, a hat, and a badge. So these are all park rangers and they work within our parks to teach people all about the wildlife. If I were a National Parks Ranger, I'd be a part of what historian William Steger called America's best idea. I proudly continue the legacy begun by people who had a vision for preserving our nature. So here's a bunch of people who were in charge of preserving our nature in the country. Some people hang pictures of pretty scenery on their office walls, but if I were a National Parks Ranger, I would spend my workday in a place that was beautiful all on its own. I might work in the mountains, in a cave, near a volcano, in the desert, or on the seashore. So here's all the places you could work if you're a National Parks Ranger. Even more. Maybe I'd work on a ship at a battlefield near the home of ancient people or at a famous monument. So here's some other places that they could work. You might recognize some of them. This is the San Francisco Maritime National Park. That's actually really close to our school. If I were a National Parks Ranger, I would protect the land, the plants, the buildings, and the wild animals of my park. I'd protect animals in many ways. I'd make sure people didn't get too close to the animals or disturb their homes. I'd make sure people didn't feed them or lead garbage that might make the animals sick. Oh, wow. So here they are saying, don't come too close to the baby turtles and make sure you throw away your trash. Protected spaces, such as national parks and national seashores, serve as living outdoor research laboratories that scientists use. If I were a national parks ranger, I might work with scientists to study the animals, the plants, the water, and the soil. So here's the national park ranger helping the scientists. I'd help campers, hikers, and sightseers, asking them, did you enjoy the national park? I might greet guests at the center and show them all of the findings. I'd be a great storyteller. I'd learn to share the history of the park I was working at, and I'd even tell a few spooky stories, too. Wow, so here they are greeting people at Yosemite National Park. I think that's Miss Bear's favorite national park right now. I know lots about the places, landmarks, plants, and wildlife. I even recognize the calls, tracks. I might take people on a tour on foot or in a kayak, a boat. Or I might lead them in shoe snows. Or I might dress up in old-fashioned clothes and pretend I was someone from another time. Wow, so look at all these creative ideas the National Parks Ranger has to really show the story of the land. If I were a National Parks Ranger, I'd always be on the lookout 
for fires or threatening weather. If I'd spot trouble, I'd use my two-way radio to report it to the emergency center. Then, other rangers and I would use our training experience to keep everyone as safe as possible. Because fires are happening right now a lot, especially with global warming. So they want to make sure everyone's safe. But sometimes things still go wrong. Then I might be a part of a search team to help someone who is in danger. So here's the National Parks Ranger helping someone who fell down and got hurt. If I were a National Parks Ranger, I'd spend time outside in all kinds of weathers. Sometimes park rangers work inside. Other times they work outside and tell people about roads that are open and closed to hike and work on. Here she is walking inside. Here they are talking about what roads are open and closed. If I were a National Parks Ranger, I might leave the park to visit classrooms. I talk to students about the wonders of workplace because our national parks belong to them too. Do you hear that? That means they belong to you too. If I were a National Parks Ranger, my parks would be cleaner and safer because of me. The animals living there would be stronger and healthier too. So here they are teaching students about it and keeping their parks really clean. And maybe because of all I did, some visitors to my park would experience something astonishing. That means, wow, very amazing. A moment could happen nowhere else in the world. Then, like me, they'd want to take care of these special places. Wow, look at that beautiful sunset. They could say, wow, how amazing. So yeah, I think someday I might just be a National Parks Ranger. Look at all of these young people. So excited to be one. Mm. So I want to hear what you think the best part about being a Parks Ranger is. Can't wait to hear on Seesaw.